Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about payment tokenization. It is one of the important concept in payment processing. It helps us to reduce the fraud cases. So let's see what it is, how it works. What is payment tokenization? Payment tokenization is a process of replacing the card holders sensitive information like credit card number, account number, etc. with a unique identifier or we can we can call it token that cannot be mathematically reversed so the token itself does not have any significant information even if it is stolen by some unauthorized person that person will not able to extract any information from it because it is a random number this token is basically number unique number which is assigned or mapped with the customer sensitive information and the mapping is present at the token service provider end so when first time customer enters the credit card details for the payment on the wallet app or upi app e-commerce application the token is generated by the token service provider and that token is saved at merchant site and used in future payment in place of actual credit card information so for like for the re recurring payment merchant don't have to send the credit card information again and again to the payment gateway or to the payment system the merchant can send the once token is generated merchant can merchant can send that generated token to the payment system to process to complete the payment the advantage of payment tokenization is it provide the data security and help us in reducing the fraud cases now let's see how token creation flow works to explain this flow i have taken example when customer add the credit card number on their e-commerce website profile here i have attached one screenshot in order to explain this so at the left side in the blue box you can see the e-commerce website or the merchant and customer adding the credit card details here so when customer add when when customer submits when customer submit the credit card details on the website the merchant makes the token creation call to the payment gateway you can see here and then that payment gateway forward that call to the payment processor or or merchant bank in some cases payment processor and merchant bank can be same entity payment processor route that that token creation call to the corresponding card network means if the the credit card is of bija then payment processor would send that request to the bija network if it is of mastercard then that payment processor would send the request to the mastercard network once credit once card network receives the token creation request it would send the details to the issuing bank for the validation of the card and it itself also do the some checks to find if there is any issue with the card or not so after getting the response from the issuing bank if card is valid the card network generate the token and save the details in its database in the database it saves the customer information of like credit card details and the token just to mention tsp is nothing but a token service provider one of the service of card network and card networks store the token number against the credit card details so at the card network end the mapping of token and the credit card details is present so after 
card network generates the token it returns to the payment processor and payment processor would send the token to the payment gateway and then finally payment gateway sends the token to the merchant or the e-commerce site and that e-commerce website saves the token this is how the token creation works after token is generated what happens how token is used for the payment as i mentioned in the previous slide after merchant or website e-commerce website receives the token from the payment system from the payment gateway it saves at their end along with the last four digit of the credit card merchant never sa saves the complete credit card number so when customer makes the payment with the saved card on the website the merchant only ask for the cbv confirmation from the customer and send the details to the payment gateway with the token to complete the payment transaction so this time merchant would not send the credit card information again to the payment gateway it would send the token which already generated and the and the payment would be processed so this is how the token is used for the payment in upcoming videos we would see more important concept related to payment processing please subscribe to the channel if you are liking the content thanks for watching see you in the next video